What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Sensei the Glove, the bald head black anime nerd, back with my review of One Piece manga chapter 948, Kawamatsu the Captain. And this is a pretty decent chapter, uh, nothing too crazy. Um, if I'm being completely honest, I was kind of underwhelmed coming from the chapter that we just had last week. Uh, but a good chapter nonetheless. Um, we kind of finally got the reveal of Kawamatsu um, to see what his design is like. And I actually really fuck with his design um, and his, uh, his character from just what we have seen. As well as a uh, meetup, you know, the final meetup between Kawamatsu and Raizo, as well as uh, Kiku, who we get a big reveal about here as well so we can jump right into it chapter picks up you know, obviously luffy's knocking out all the fodder like we knew he would um trying to train his hockey so he can master it uh but then you know surprisingly enough the uh the head jailer the elephant elephant chested guy um he basically tells all the prisoners to hold him down um in which we got a you know a kind of a revelation to how the prisoners actually feel in there um, assuming that the prisoners are the the same people that uh, old man Hyo was referring to as like you know, all the people that were under him that helped fight for the Kochi clan. Um, we learned that they are they are you know, indeed those people holding him down, basically saying, "Hey, look, you know, yeah, you fighting back makes us feel you know, like we can do some shit." But the truth of the matter is, Kaido runs this whole shit. So yeah, we break out of this prison and then. We're Kaido comes, fucks us up, and, you know, now we're back at square one, or dead. Meanwhile, you can just leave. Like, we can't just leave. We have to live here. Um, so that was an interesting take on it to see that they were going to go in that direction, um, which kind of leads more to the whole Luffy, you know, Luffy's now tasked with gaining their trust, understand, like, getting them to understand, believe in him, um, that he's the guy who's going to take down Kaido. Um, and, you know, because no one knows that everybody is actually back in here, you know, it was, it was made imperative that that needed to be stated. Um, and during that, you know, during that scuffle with Luffy being held down, Kawamatsu basically announces, hey, you should tell them, um, come fight me. And now they're like, oh shit, the guy is still there. So he actually was still in the prison, which is, okay, whatever. He was still tied down, but didn't get crushed in the rubble. I really want to know how <laughs> that worked out. Rizo appears, throws him the key, he breaks free, fucks all the little fodder characters up, get the reveal of his uh, design, a beautiful panel of him like doing this like slash, like cutting sumo move, it was really, really nice. Yo to the noobs. After that, introduced to, like, we, we cut to, from there we cut to Okiku um, and Chopper, basically. What do we do? Um, do we need to go save Olin? Chopper's like, hell no. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> I am okay now that she's gone. Like, let's let's go support Luffy. Um, so, old man Hyo basically steps to them and says, look, it's time for you to take off, you know, your disguises, let everybody know who you are, so, you know, we can get, gain their trust and they can know, look, shit is about to go down. We're really up in this bitch. So, the huge reveal with Okiku is that she's actually not Okiku, but uh, Kiku, the beautiful swordsman. So, Kiku is actually a male, um, but a woman at heart. So, this is very interesting because this means that she's <laughs> he is not necessarily a transgender, but he's not an Okama, if that makes sense. Like, I don't, I don't think he really is. You know, he's clearly not a woman, but he just appears to be a woman. So, it's like... I don't know. It's like a it's like a crazy play on the Okama thing that we're used to with like you know those types of characters. So it's almost like you know Oda knows it's 2019 and he needs to he pander to you know the LGBTQ community, um, which was great. So shouts out to Oda for staying up to date on the shits um, and knowing what people would want to see. But in the reveal that <laughs> Kiku is actually a man and not a woman. That is inadvertently another L for Sanji. The man cannot catch a W to save his fucking life. Like, he just got an L and wasn't even on screen. Like, how? Like, at this point, Sanji is a fucking meme. Like, he he just can't win. Like, he literally cannot win. And it, it's, it's sickening at this point. Oda, if you 
you watch these videos, which I highly doubt you do, but if by the grace of God you do watch these videos, stop trolling Sanji, bro. Like, come on, man. <laughs> like, come on. He's going to be pissed. Later on down the line, when it's revealed that this is actually a guy, Sanji's going to think back to the moment at the graveyard where he's swooning over her, saying, like, hey, you know, maybe you love me after we beat up all these guys, all this other stuff. Um, so yeah, it was it was it was definitely intense. Rizo takes off his mask, you can see Rizo at full. But I noticed that they said that Rizo was Fuki, Fuku somebody. I, I'm assuming that that person is from the Oni Waban, because the Oni Waban is the only other place I remember seeing like a ninja ninja. Um, if not, I am interested to find out who this person is, and I wonder if they're gonna have like a, a big fight later on, because they were basically saying Rizo was this person's Fuku person's rival. So that was actually interesting. And then seeing everybody, uh, lastly, they basically like, well, who's Luffy Taro? But Chopper's standing there as well, like in his muscle form, but they ignored Chopper. <laughs> like, ah, come on, man. Don't hold my nigga Chopper, bro. He's still that nigga. He, he's a little nigga, but he's that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then the chapter ends from there. We are on hiatus next week. Uh, so it, it can go a lot of different ways. I'm hoping that they off screen again. I'm hoping that they off screen a lot of the, the bullshit happening prison like, i don't need to see these people beat up everybody nor do i need to see a drawn out okay we we will fight for you this that and the third like you know like i said in my last uh review i'm okay with luffy meeting um you know meeting the people that he needs to meet like uh kawamatsu linking back up with raizo like i'm okay with all that. i'm okay with seeing that as well but i don't need to see him beat up all these I don't need to see him you know, running through the, the prison, rallying up the troops. Just give me, like, where's where's Killer and Kid? Like, where are they? Did they escape again? Like, what's going on with them? Give me some of that. If not, take me back to Law versus Hawkins. Like, I need to see what is going on with the rest of, you know what I mean? I, I want to know who got captured, what's happening during, like, during all of this. So we'll see kind of where it goes. Um, Overall, I'll probably get this chapter like a 3.5 out of 5, maybe a 4 out of 5. Uh, it wasn't too too action-packed. And like I said, the reveal of Kawamatsu was a little underwhelming, um, but I still like this character um, enough. I, I expected it to actually be a fish man, so I do uh, applaud Oda for you know, subverting my expectations and actually creating a Kappa Yo to the Noose um, instead of just making him a fish man. So... Uh, I do applaud him for that. I do applaud him for the uh, Kiku reveal as well. So, you know, overall, it was a solid chapter. Um, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Fuck with your boy, Sensei Lick Love. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Sensei Lick Love. As well as follow our podcast, Worst Generation Podcast. We are on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Play. Uh, we have about 15 episodes up or so. So yeah, check us out. We got a lot of decent content out there. I'll be dropping some of our content um, on the channel as well. So subscribe. You can also leave voice messages there um, for myself or for the podcast. Basically, you know, letting us know kind of what you want to talk about or how you feel about some of the topics that we talk about. If you guys hop in, we'd love to hear what you have to say. We'd love to have you on the show if you want to hop in. So uh, let us know. Like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, Sensei Lick Love.